Hi everyone, this is Jean from ExtraPetite.com. Today's video is going to be a review of two entry-level Chanel handbags that happen to be very petite friendly. Um, I use the term entry-level relatively because Chanel handbags in general tend to be investment pieces, but the two styles I'll be showing today are amongst their more affordable options. However, they're still classic styles that come back season after season, year after year. So if you are shopping for a handbag or if you just want to learn more about two different styles, I hope you guys find this helpful. The first bag I'm going to be talking about is the Petite Shopping Tote or PST. This bag also comes in a bigger version called the Grand Shopping Tote. So the Petite one measures 9 inches tall, 9 inches wide, so it's a perfect square. And on the side it's about 3 inches deep. The handle drop length, which I measure from here to here, is about 9.5 inches, which is perfect for me. The handle drop length is very important to me as a petite gal because I'm under 5 feet tall and if the handle drop is too long and the bag is too low on me it looks awkward and if it's too short then it could be uncomfortable over the arm. So this is 9.5 inches and this is how it looks. You can also wear this bag on your elbow or just carry it on at your hand like a tote. I'm going to get a little bit closer to show you guys the details. This bag has the classic quilting on the front and back. It has the chain hardware handles that come in either gold or silver finish and it also has full leather handles up top. As for pockets, there is one pocket on the back. Inside there is one zippered compartment and another small pocket over here. The closure is a magnetic snap closure. So the most I usually ever carry with me is a large wallet, a sunglasses case, a small cosmetics bag, my cell phone, and some keys. As you guys can see, this only fills the bag up about halfway, so plenty of room left. So my likes about the petite shopping tote. I like the classic look. This really embodies all the classic details of Chanel, like quilted leather, chain hardware and handles, and a decent size with a smaller price tag than, say, their classic flap. I also like that this is very proportionate. Regardless of how you carry it on the shoulder or on the arm, I feel like this bag looks very proportionate for someone my size. However, I do have a few qualms with the petite shopping tote. As you guys saw earlier, there's nothing at the top, no zipper, no flap, just a small magnetic closure. There's nothing keeping it closed, so you can easily drop or lose something or someone could steal something. Secondly, I feel like the boxier structure makes it a little bit harder to maintain and care for. You really have to take care of it before and after and store it properly if you want to keep the nice, crisp, um, square structure. And also when I'm carrying it on my shoulders, I'm oftentimes nervous that I'm scuffing up the corners or the edges. Next, I'm not exactly sure what it is about this bag, but it's just not that functional for me in my personal lifestyle. So for work every day, I have to carry a heavy laptop and for that purpose, I have a larger, lightweight bag that can like sustain wear and tear. And then after work, I'm a pretty casual person. Um, the places I go, the things I do, doesn't really warrant a nicer leather bag of this size. And then for going out at night, I feel like this is a little bit larger and obtrusive for going to the bar or club or lounge. The second bag I'm going to be talking about is the Wallet on Chain, or WOC. So this is the rectangular version. It also comes in a half moon shape, which is more pouch-like if you're not keen on rectangles. Um, this measures 7 inches wide, 5 inches tall, and the side expands to about 1 inch wide. This is how the size compares to the petite shopping tote. So as you can see, it's significantly smaller. I'm going to get a little bit closer to show you guys the details on the inside. The one I have is in caviar leather. I've seen this in a number of uh, other finishes. It also comes quilted and I've also seen it in the reissue design. There is one zipper compartment on the back. It has a snap closure. There's a second zipper compartment here for your coins. And then a third zipper compartment on the flap. Here's another pocket on the front, another pocket inside, and there are six credit card slots. In terms of fit, this is what I usually carry in this bag. I have my credit cards and shopping carts, a cell phone, chapstick, and some keys. Also some coins in the coin pouch. So this bag works perfectly for me because I'm a light packer. But for those of you who like larger bags because you like to have everything with you, this bag might not work for you. 
In terms of life, I absolutely love this bag. It's just so functional and versatile for my lifestyle and you can easily dress it off or dress it down. So I'm going to show you guys a few different ways that the Wild on Chain can be worn. First, the most obvious way to wear this bag is on the chain on your shoulder. So as you guys can see, this hits me almost at my knees. It's quite a bit too long for me. When you're walking, you don't want this bag swinging up a storm. But thankfully, it's pretty easy to adjust. Just open up the flap, cross the straps over like this, close it back up, and suddenly the chain is shortened by several inches, and now it's the perfect length for me. It hits me right at my hips. The second way to wear this bag is as a crossbody. I've been looking for a crossbody for a long time. I have narrow shoulders, so chains and straps tend to slip off my shoulders, and it gets annoying adjusting it all the time. And then for running errands, I like to have my hands free. So you can wear it as a crossbody in the front like this, or you can wear it on the back. And it's just very comfortable and convenient. The third way to wear this bag, if you're at maybe a dressier, more formal occasion, you can double up the straps completely like this and then this just becomes a short little handbag and you can wear this on your shoulder or on your elbow and then the fourth way if you want to go strapless you can just tuck the entire length of the chain inside this works really nice if you have a pretty party dress or a more formal event Close it up and just becomes a classic rectangular clutch. Sometimes if I'm running late for work, I don't have time to transfer out the contents of this bag. I'll just grab the dust bag, put this in, and then just pop it into my work tote so that this will just function as a wallet. So although I really love this bag because it's very functional and versatile, I do have a few issues. So the first is the chain strap. The strap length drop is about 25 inches, so someone my height will probably never wear it at its full length. I wish there was a slightly more permanent way to keep it tucked away, because whenever I open the flap, it tends to slip back out and I just have to re-tuck it. The second issue I have is with the closure. As you guys can see, the snap is very small, and once when I packed it pretty full, the snap just came right open. So I wish that the snap was a little bit bigger, or even a turn lock closure so that the flap can stay more securely closed. To sum it up, those are just my personal likes and dislikes on two very different styles. Depending on your lifestyle and your preferences, the different bags could work for different people, but personally my favorite is the wallet on chain. It's just much more functional for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.